Civil liberties in the United States are certain unalienable rights retained by as opposed to privileges granted to citizens of the United States under the Constitution of the United States, as interpreted and clarified by the Supreme Court of the United States and lower federal courts. Civil liberties are simply defined as individual legal and constitutional protections from entities more powerful than an individual, for example, parts of the government, other individuals, or corporations. The liberties explicitly defined, make up the Bill of Rights, including freedom of speech, the right to bear arms, and the right to privacy. There are also many liberties of people not defined in the Constitution, as stated in the Ninth Amendment, the enumeration in the Constitution, of certain rights, shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. The extent of civil liberties and the periphery of the population of the United States who had access to these liberties has expanded over time. For example, the Constitution did not originally define who was eligible to vote, allowing each state to determine who was eligible. In the early history of the U.S., most states allowed only white male adult property owners to vote about 6% of the population. The three-fifths compromise allowed the Southern slaveholders to consolidate power and maintain slavery in America for 80 years after the ratification of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights had little impact on judgments by the courts for the first 130 years after ratification. <laughs> United States Constitution <laughs> Freedom of religion <laughs> <laughs> Free exercise clause the text of Amendment I to the United States Constitution, ratified December 15, 1791, states that, "...Congress shall make no law prohibiting the free exercise thereof." <laughs> Freedom of expression <laughs> <laughs> Free speech clause the text of Amendment I to the United States Constitution, ratified December 15, 1791, states that, "...Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech." <laughs> Free press clause the text of Amendment I to the United States Constitution, ratified December 15, 1791, states that, Congress shall make no law abridging the press. Topic: <inaudible> Free Assembly Clause. The text of Amendment I to the United States Constitution, ratified December 15, 1791, states that Congress shall make no law abridging the right of the people peaceably to assemble". Petition clause The text of Amendment I to the United States Constitution, ratified December 15, 1791, states that Congress shall make no law abridging the right of the people to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Free speech exceptions The following types of speech are not protected constitutionally, defamation or false statements, child pornography, obscenity, damaging the national security interests, verbal acts, and fighting words. Because these categories fall outside of the First Amendment privileges, the courts can legally restrict or criminalize any expressive act within them. Other expressions, including threat of bodily harm or publicizing illegal activity, may also be ruled illegal. Right to keep and bear arms The text of Amendment 2 to the United States Constitution, ratified December 15, 1791, states that a well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, shall not be infringed." <laughs> sexual freedom The concept of sexual freedom includes a broad range of different rights that are not mentioned in the U.S. Constitution. 
The idea of sexual freedom has sprung more from the popular opinion of society in more recent years, and has had very little constitutional backing. The following liberties are included under sexual freedom, sexual expression, sexual choices, sexual education, reproductive justice, and sexual health. Sexual freedom in general is considered an implied procedure, and is not mentioned in the Constitution. Sexual freedoms include the freedom to have consensual sex with whomever a person chooses, at any time, for any reason, provided the person is of the age of majority. Marriage is not required, nor are there any requirements as to the gender or number of people you have sex with. Sexual freedom includes the freedom to have private consensual homosexual sex Lawrence v. Texas. Topic: Equal protection. Equal protection prevents the government from creating laws that are discriminatory in application or effect. Topic: Right to vote. The text of Amendment 14 to the United States Constitution, ratified July 9, 1868, states that when the right to vote at any election for the choice of electors for President and Vice President of the United States, representatives in Congress, the executive and judicial officers of a state, or the members of the legislature thereof, is denied to any of the male inhabitants of such state, being 21 18 years of age, and citizens of the United States, or in any way abridged, except for participation in rebellion, or other crime, the basis of representation therein shall be reduced in the proportion which the number of such male citizens shall bear to the whole number of male citizens 21 18 years of age in such state." The text of Amendment 15 to the United States Constitution, ratified February 3, 1870, states that the right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of race, color, or previous condition of servitude. The text of Amendment 19 to the United States Constitution, ratified August 18, 1919, states that, "...the right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex." The text of Amendment 23 to the United States Constitution, ratified January 23, 1964, states that, the right of citizens of the United States to vote in any primary or other election for president or vice president, for electors for president or vice president, or for senator or representative in Congress, shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state by reason of failure to pay any poll tax or other tax. The text of Amendment 26 to the United States Constitution, ratified July 1, 1971, states that the right of citizens of the United States, who are 18 years of age or older, to vote, shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state on account of age." <laughs> right to interstate travel <laughs> <laughs> Right to parent one's children <laughs> Protection on the high seas from pirates Topic. Right to privacy Topic. Right to marriage In the 1967 United States Supreme Court ruling in the case of Loving v. Virginia found a fundamental right to marriage, regardless of race. In the 2015 United States Supreme Court ruling in the case of Obergefell v. Hodges found a fundamental right to marriage, regardless of gender. Topic. Right of self-defense See also American Civil Liberties Union Civil Liberties in the United Kingdom Constitution of the United States Topic. References Topic. Further reading